Welcome to Business Insights. Uh, this is going to be about MMA. Now, MMA stands for Mixed Martial Arts. Boxing, Mixed Martial Arts, competitive uh, combat sports, however you want to look at it. Um, I'm a fan, huge fan of them. Uh, I recently had the opportunity to get back involved in them. Um, so I took a few uh, took a few shots. I'm not that old yet, <laughs> um, and it's it is incredible stuff. I love it. Uh, wish I could do it professionally, but I am too old for that. I think the reason it's important for business is that when you're there in the moment and actually are going to get punched in the face, and you're about to punch someone else in the face you realize how, how important every little decision is and how you have to think instinctively and you have to trust your instincts. Um, from the last match, personally, I can say that instincts, I mean, there was m moves right at the top of my head, right, right there, instinct. I should have launched them, should have went with it. And I held back a little. And, I mean, it didn't cost me anything, but it could have. And it could have been a decisive victory. Um, sometimes I did follow the instincts, and it worked beautifully. And, that's, and in business, I think most people know. Uh, for example, there's a lecturer who uses the idea of appraising art and how most art appraisers the majority of it's all about instincts. They just know something is a real piece of art and it's not fake. It's the same thing in business. Uh, we have to trust our instincts. It's the same thing in fighting. You have to uh, trust your instincts. The other part of it is that before it even becomes instincts, you have to train and practice and study. If you go into business in your industry and you don't practice, and you don't study what else is going on and all the new moves, uh, and you're not out there training and practicing social media, and you're not practicing direct mail, and you're not practicing all of these techniques to grow your business, then it's not second nature. And so when those vital uh, decisions have to be made in a split second, uh, it's n your instincts... Uh, won't be as in tune as they could be. Because if you practice hard enough and you study and you work at it and then trust your instincts, uh, usually the right decisions will be made. Um, it's also, you have to have, you can't be afraid. There's nothing wrong with being concerned and have a little hesitancy, uh, not hesitancy. I don't, I, I don't like using the word fear. But I guess it really is the only word to use. So, there's those moments when you know that punch is about to come and, and catch you. Because you've got to take a couple shots. If you don't take a couple shots, you're never going to get in there. And it's not even a real fight. So, you have to take a couple shots. And when you do, there's a little bit of fear there. That, yeah, it's going to hurt. <laughs> but you have to know and you have to have the confidence that those those shots aren't going to do anything and you're going to be able to continue on and push your way through your agenda, your plans, uh, your market strategy. You know, uh, some people don't like <coughs> using uh, Sun Tzu, The Art of War. I've always loved it because I mean, no one needs to go to battle. I mean, you don't need to go to your competitor, call him off to the street and have a street fight. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that compare any competitive sport to business or to combat. And what you're going to see is, is that those who have the passion and the heart, those who have the training, and those who trust their instincts will always go further than the people who, who cower and step back and were not properly prepared, and they didn't train, and they didn't take it serious, and they don't really care. I mean, that's the truth. I mean, it's bottom line stuff. So, <clears throat> um, 
having actually had the opportunity to take a couple shots to the face and uh, to uh, reciprocate those, it just it makes it brings the examples back and actually makes them very tangible. It's not really theory anymore; it's tangible. <laughs> For a few days later, too, let me tell you. <laughs> Again, business is not a war. Uh, it should not be treated like a war. Business is not about a street fight. But business is not about getting in the ring. Um, but business is about passion. It is about enjoying what you're doing. It is about being creative. It's about being dedicated. And it's about giving 110% of yourself to seeing something uh, succeed, to, to, to seeing your goal achieved, whatever that goal may be. And so passion really, I think, is at the heart of it. And um, so that's Business Insights. I just wanted to share that. Thank you.